Chris and Schweizer, um, they're here, uh, qualified in the 5K. Congrats. Thank um, you. You know, three all moved, made the move in the, at the same time, it felt like. I mean, can you talk us through kind of the close and, and what it felt like for you? Yeah, um, I knew there was going to be a couple moves being made, and that honestly just like decides the team is those moves. So I knew I just had to latch on to every move and respond well and stay very engaged in the race. And um, luckily, I felt really good. So I just like went with every move and I knew the last lap was going to be pretty fast. So I just tried to finish as strong as I could and it was a fast race. So yeah, I'm really happy with it. Were you happy? Okay. With tactics <laughs> overall, like this yeah. is what you envisioned. Essentially. Yeah, this is what I envisioned. And honestly, just the goal of today is getting in the top three. And for me, I'm just coming back from injury and setbacks and I just like need to start feeling like myself again and I just feel like myself out there and I know I can gain a lot of momentum even if it's only five weeks that I have so I'm really really excited about that. What do you think of Parker taking things out real fast early on? Yeah I think that's awesome for a college kid to just go out there and lead the race like that it's, um, it's a good tactic and um, I think she'll be definitely a threat for years to come. Chris, with, with the injuries that you've gone through in the last couple of years was there any time during that stretch where you didn't think you'd be back here with that medal and heading to the Olympics? Yeah, definitely. I feel like I've had a lot of setbacks and it's just hard to sometimes when you're in those moments to really feel like you're ever going to be back to that healthy self and just feeling like and just like having fun again. So yeah, I'm really happy to be back and just being able to like run in spikes again and feel confident with um, doing that. So then how does it feel to be? <laughs> yeah, it feels really surreal. I'm very ex excited about this one. It just is really hard going into it. And I know I had the confidence of I made a team before, but this one, there was just so many obstacles going in that um, I just felt like I really needed to prove this to myself. What is good? Are you doing the 10? Uh, yes, I'll be doing the 10 later this week. And this really was a good confidence booster for me. So, yeah. What's what going to be the mindset for you to kind of, you know, obviously kind of be happy about this result and shift the focus to, to the 10? Mm -hmm. Yeah, soak this one in for tonight, and then tomorrow it's going to be all about the 10 and how we're going to prep for that. I'll talk to my coach and just kind of see what the best strategy will be for that because I really like the 10K, and I'd love to make the team both, but, yeah, it's going to be a hard team to make. So what do, you, what do you like about the 10K? Um, I just think it's a really good event for me. Um, in 2022, I feel like I was really able to hang in, like at the world scene, and I just haven't been able to get back and showcase that again, and I'd love to be able to do that. The objective was to make the same you did that, but you still have time now to build toward Paris. Um, and how are you going to use that time to your advantage, do you think? Yeah, just get more runway. I feel like I just haven't had a ton of time under my belt just like training and um, being healthy. So I'll use that to my advantage. And I just feel like every week has been so much progress. And I'm just excited to even just from PTF racing to now, I feel like I've just gained so much momentum. After overcoming all those injuries and setbacks, and then gaining confidence back through a successful Olympic trials. What are your goals and expectations for the Olympics? Yeah, um, I think I'll just heading into it. Obviously, want to make the final and then do better as it better than I did last time. Um, and obviously, if a medal's there, you want to get a medal. Um, but for me, it's just really focusing in on placing the best I can. No American has placed higher than six for us ever. So I think trying to do that, that's been a big goal of mine for a while, is just trying to break through that barrier. Are you looking forward to having spectators and family at the Olympics? <laughs> I'm very much looking forward to that. That was something in Tokyo that just like made me very sad and that was um, a big motivator to make it back to Paris was I want my family there, I want spectators there, and I want them to experience that Olympic feeling with me. Now, do they buy tickets in advance? You know, or <laughs> I don't know yet. People, you know, I never asked before gun. going in. Um, we'll find out tonight and <laughs> they might be panic buying some tickets. So we'll see. Good or they already bought some. I don't know. <laughs> Good problem to have. Right? Yeah. Does, I mean, the distance women overall for the United States, right? We kind of have some growth over the past couple years. How do you kind of assess the landscape of the women that were, at least in the 5K, of course, now that we're sending to Paris? Yeah, I think it's awesome. I mean, our trials being in a 1440s race is like a huge improvement for us. We, I mean, having people all competing that are at that level and then on top of that being a race at the trials is, I think, a really good step for us. And it's really exciting moving forward. How are you going to spend your free time in Paris? I don't know yet. I've never been to Paris, so yeah, I'm excited. I'm gonna take all the recommendations. Um, probably lots of coffee shops and <laughs> pastries. So, yeah. What's your coffee order? Um, I like. I'm trying basic. I feel like a latte, but um, 
yeah, I feel like especially over there, they just make such good coffee that it's like such a fun little treat. <laughs> well, you deserve it. Congratulations. Yes. How 